morning friends i am here to start a new topic that is golden ratio and fibonacci sequence and also you can see this picture these are the golden pie so let us brief something about this uh, golden ratio leonardo fibonacci an italian mathematician has introduced this uh, golden ratio while solving a problem involving the rabbit so let us start what is the fibonacci sequence so this sequence is has been invented by leonardo fibonacci this is a magical sequence you can see starting with 0 then 1 then 1 plus 0 is 1 then 1 plus 1 2 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 2 5 5 plus 3 8 8 plus 5 13 13 plus 8 21 like this so to get a term you have to add its previous term and the term which is just before the previous term the general formula can be x n plus 2 is equal to its previous term is x n plus 1 plus x n okay now you may have a doubt that actually what is the implementation of this Fibonacci sequence in our society in our nature one more interesting amazing thing is that before Fibonacci God has lifted many objects many things which avoided with this uh, golden sequence or Fibonacci sequence okay we will discuss later on that thing so let us first move to the golden ratio what is golden ratio you just take any number of this uh, Fibonacci sequence divided by its previous term you will get some certain numbers let us start with 3 3 divided by its previous term is 2 that is 1.5 5 divided by 3 that is equal to 1.66 similarly 8 divided by 5 you will get 1.6 next 13 by 8 you will get some 1.6 something similarly if you go ahead then you will meet a number 377 that is also a number which lies in this Fibonacci sequence 377 and its previous term is 233 you will get 1.618 and after that you will find every ratio you will get 1.618 something so this 1.618 it approaches to 1.618 actually this ratio approaches to 1.618 that is nothing but known as the phi and this phi is the golden ratio and it is approximately equal to 1.618 okay now this is all about the golden ratio now the thing is that what is the implementation of this golden ratio in our nature one more thing let us start with my body you can see my body okay in our body many body parts is abided with this golden ratio you can see very interesting thing so let me start this is my forearm from this to this okay you just take a scale and take the measurement of this forearm keep it and then you take the measurement of this hand and keep it this forearm divided by this hand you will get 1.6 something and one more interesting thing is that this is true for all human being in all human being this forearm divided by hand is 1.6 something that maintains that is avoided that follows the golden ratio not only this forearm, forearm and this hand but also in our body part also many body parts they follow the golden ratio example from this head to the neck and neck to the navel they maintain the golden ratio from the head the length of the head head to navel and from navel to feet that maintains the golden ratio or from this navel to knee knee to feet that also maintains the golden ratio and there are so many body parts are there they avoided with this golden ratio they follow the golden ratio now let us move to the next one is golden ratio caliper you can see this one this is known as golden ratio caliper i have prepared this golden ratio caliper 
this moves in this way. You can see. And special thing is that you can see from the there are three hands one, two, three. The length between this hand and this hand, and the length between this hand and this hand, you observe. They are nothing but the Fibonacci sequence. If this is two, then this becomes three. If this is three, this length is three, this becomes five. If this length is 13, then this becomes 21. I have prepared this golden ratio of California in a such a way that it follows the golden Fibonacci sequence. Then what is the use of this golden ratio, this caliper? Okay. Now, if I ask you to buy, to take the ratio of this, to examine your forearm and the hand, whether they follows the golden ratio or not, what do you do? You have to take a scale, take the measurement, find out the ratio and calculate the ratio using a calculator. But without using the scale, calculator, etc., by taking this golden ratio caliper, you can see, you can examine whether this forearm or this hand or any other body part follows the golden ratio or not. How? Because this follows the golden ratio. Now, you just look at this. I am putting my hand here. This is my forearm. This is my forearm from first hand to second hand is my forearm and uh, you can see that the second to third it is the hand and exactly this caliper says that my hand, my forearm, the ratio maintains the golden ratio. By using this caliper you can measure the body parts from head to neck or neck to nozzle whether they follow the golden ratio or not you can see without using the scale without calculating the ratio, you just use this caliper so that you can see that whether your body, body part follows this rule or not. So this is very interesting known as golden ratio caliper. Okay, now let us move to the next topic is golden spiral. What is golden spiral? You can see here some spiral. Let me start with this term, this term. Yes, you can see here. I have made a spiral, you can see here. Okay, now, yes, this is a square. This is a square having its side 1, and again, I have made a, another square, its side is 1. Because you, do, you know that in Fibonacci sequence, the terms are 0 comma 1 comma 1 so first is 1 second is 1 then let us move to let me put here so that it can be very clear yes now you can see this is equal to a square having side 1 then again a square having side 1 then 1 plus 1 is 2 I have made a, another square below these two squares having side 2 Again, you can find this is equal to side 2 and side 1. So, total is 3. So, I have made a square having side 3. Then, this is 3, this is 1, this is 1. Total is 5. So, by taking the length 5, side 5, I have made another square. Then, you can see this is 5, this is 1, 6, and this is 2. 5 plus 1, 6 plus 2, 8. So, this is a square having side 8. In this way, you can make the squares. 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, then 21 having the side. So this is clearly, I have prepared this square having the side equal to length equal to the Fibonacci, the numbers which are in the Fibonacci sequence. Okay. Now, let us move to this one. Yes. Now, I have joined the corner of a square. And uh, like this way, I bent and uh, like this, again, I have made a spiral. You can see the spiral. And this spiral is nothing but, this is divided with uh, this uh, Fibonacci sequence. And then one thing you may ask, that what is the use of this spiral? 
It has the God has gifted his spiral before Fibonacci. Many objects in this nature they follow the this golden ratio. Sorry, this golden spiral. You can see here some pictures I have shown here. This is first is this is a simple. What is this? This is a snail. This is a snail. Okay. The scale, the pattern of the scale, it follows the golden ratio. You can see. This is a very interesting thing. What is this? This is a sunflower pattern. You can see. This also follows the golden ratio. If you put a pencil and just go like this, it follows the golden ratio. And what is this? This is hurricane. You can you can come across this every two years in our this Gajpati or Ganjam district. Okay. This also the, this is the origin of the hurricane. This follows the golden ratio. So not only these three objects, if you see in our nature, there are so many things are there which uh, follows this golden ratio. So from the study, it is being told that uh, this golden ratio, Fibonacci sequence, and this golden spiral, before Fibonacci, God has gifted this application of this uh, application of this this ratio and uh, this uh, spiral and the sequence in our nature okay so this is a very amazing uh, topic okay thank you